Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at Everything You Need to Know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, the IMF is increasingly worried about Chinese debt levels. But first in the US, and in a sign of the demise of using coal to produce electricity, GE has announced it is shedding 12,000 jobs at one of its major divisions. And the US Federal Reserve has released data this morning showing the net worth of Australian households rose to a record $97 trillion, boosted by rising stock markets and higher house prices. That puts US household wealth at more than 5.2 times their annual GDP. The growth in the September quarter was the fastest on record. By way of reference, New Zealand's household net worth is also about 5.2 times our annual GDP. China is reporting that its foreign currency reserves held above the $3,003 trillion level in November and grew ever so slightly for the 10th month in a row. In a new assessment by the IMF, they report a large and growing debt overhang that makes the Chinese economy vulnerable to shocks. It highlighted these and other concerns over imbalances in the world's second largest economy. Stress testing they did found four-fifths of their banks are vulnerable. It wants China to boost their capital. Interestingly, Chinese media are ignoring the review. But they are highlighting a new local report that their property market faces deeply entrenched problems, including having the wrong housing stock, a lack of affordable housing due to insufficient government support, and geographic demographic supply mismatch. And the concerns over HNA just keep growing as their debts mount and repayment obligations get massive. And the head of the Australian Tax Office is pleading with Aussies to stop the cash for less mentality ingrained in the Australian psyche that they use to employ tradesmen. It is so endemic, supply stores like Bunnings enable the scam. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 2.35%. And the price of crude oil is up slightly today, now just over 56.50 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just under $62 a barrel. But the price of gold is down, it's down $11 at its new lower level of $1,252 an ounce, a five month low. And the Kiwi dollar is marginally softer, we're now at 50, 68.5 US cents, and on the cross rates we're at 91 Aussie cents, and against the euro, 58.1 euro cents. That puts the TWI down a tick to 71.5. Meanwhile, the rise and rise of Bitcoin continues. Today it is $16,057, which is $3,340 or 27% higher than this time yesterday. In New Zealand dollars, it's now worth over $23,400 each. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.